Turtle. Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade Donatello. and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Ninja Turtles Pro Raphael. by Stern Pinball today. Please look for a review underneath the description Michael of our Angelo. YouTube video. And let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? Leonardo. Let's go ahead and pick uh, Donatello here. Donatello chosen. First things first. First impressions. Artwork looks phenomenal. Zombie Yeti hit it out of the park yet again. Uh, just like his Ghostbusters uh, pinball machine, this one has the look. The artwork is very crisp on the play field. Looks great. Phenomenal, actually. Uh, it's highly complimentary of, obviously, the Ninja Turtles, and his art style really did pull it off. Uh, this machine is a three-flipper layout. Uh, obviously, traditional setup. Flipper gap's not too bad. You got two in-lanes to the left, one in-lane to the right, in-lane left-right. Uh, going up the left side of the play field, you have a third flipper uh, with a little lane that goes back there that drops out to your in-lanes to the left. You also have a orbit that goes left right and of course you have a stopper to the back obviously through modes that will stop the ball to drop into your columns and your pop bumpers. You have a metal ramp on this Pro. Very nice Stern. As well as some wire form habitrails. I mean you cannot beat that. Uh, that metal ramp actually will exit habitrail left end lane. And some things that I really, really like about this game, beyond the flow, is the layout. Uh, it, it's very smooth. You have many orbits to the inside off of the third flipper where it says Leonardo right now blinking blue. Third flipper, you have two lanes that go uh, internal around the pop bumpers to your columns. You also have a lane ramp that will go up and around. And that will actually, that will actually go around to your left orbit and exit out to your third flipper believe it or not i've seen this a lot on some of the games recently spooky's rick and morty has a ramp to orbit see they just did it right there there it goes again boom ramp to orbit so anyway rick and morty did it jurassic park had something that was very familiar and very similar uh which was obviously that right ramp shot exiting to the right side of that that game as well so i love that uh, I love the fact that you can shoot a ramp and it will drop it back into the play field in, into the game and it keeps the speed super fast. So that's obviously something that we really like on this machine. Uh, beyond that, obviously, uh, you know, right side lane obviously is your orbit. And that can go right orbit, left orbit. And you also have your, uh, you also have your single targets that we've heard a lot about through the forms, which there's a lot of people that either love those targets, the Lair and the April targets on the side. There's a lot of people that hate them as well. Uh, but one thing I do want to bring up is the fact that those targets keep the momentum of the ball going very fast. See right there, boom. It shoots it off, it keeps the speed of the ball. I think that's what Stern was trying to go for there. And there's your little, there's your little lock under the third flipper. But yeah, those targets really, it keeps the momentum of the game going forward. So unlike a drop target, you get a drop target, motion actually is absorbed, and that ball generally can pop off, but not at the same speed. These single targets, the ball keeps going. It keeps traveling, and it keeps the game very fast. So we do like that, actually. Beyond that, artwork looks phenomenal. Theme, Ninja Turtles, hell. I mean, could you not pick a better theme than Ninja Turtles? I think anyone that grew up in the 80s would love this game, including kids. My daughter is one of them. She scored this a thumbs up. You have the rotating spinner pizza to the middle, which actually changes the trajectory of your shot, uh, adds to a little bit more difficulty. And although this is a fast, quick game, uh, difficulty is not super hard. It is a moderate difficulty. And the shots are just set up really, really good. I mean, John Borg and the crew over there did a really good job. This game plays well. The soundtrack is really good, although they, they made it themselves, and believe it or not, you know, the voiceovers and stuff like that, they sound really good. But one thing I want to point out, this is a Stern Pro with a metal ramp to the left and wire form habit trail on both sides. I mean, could you ask for any better value than that? You can't. You can't. You literally can't. So, you know, for the money, this pro is loaded. That would 
again lit. There's that little mini orbit to the third flipper internal. The time has come to make the super jet shot. There's the orbit, there's the mini, and that is so fast coming off of that. That's what makes it fun, keeps you on your toes. Beyond that, soundtrack sounds really, really good. Call out to their theme, Ninja Turtles, absolutely there. Uh, cooperative play. Yes, this machine has cooperative play that adds to the layer of fun if you're in a pincade uh, or a pinball bar. Uh, so this game has a lot to offer on it. I do like the fact that you can choose the turtles and select your different modes, different storylines. Very, very fun. Replayability on this is actually very high. So we're going into our lock and that's the Ninja Parlor. So we got extra ball added. Ball two is locked, so let's go for three so we can go ahead and that multi-ball. But yes, the animations on this game, I mean, they, they look good for what they are. I would have loved to have seen this as a MAME arcade setup, kind of like Deadpool. Uh, you had the fighting scenes and stuff like that. The MAME edition of, uh, in the arcade edition of Ninja Turtles in the arcade was very popular. Uh, and I would have loved to have seen fighting sequences that were based off of that. But this art for what it is could have been better, but it is not bad. So anyway, we're going to enter a uh, Ninja Pizza Parlor Multi-Ball. And as you see, the magnetic lock on that spinning uh, pizza is pretty awesome, to say the least. This game has a lot to offer. It's got a lot of multi-balls. It's got the shots. Flow is down. Speed is there. Moderate to light high difficulty based off of the shots, especially with all the mode play that's on this. You got a lot of obstacles you got to get to get through this game. So it makes it a little bit more of a long-term play. I also see this game doing really good in coin-op. I see this game doing really good on location. I also see it doing really good. I see it doing really good for home use only. So it's a beautiful game. It, it delivers almost on every single front. Fun factor is obviously there as well. Scoring very high so far. You have I'm trying to decide what to score this thing. I mean, this 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 is going to be up there. So this is Pete's eating contest. I'm hitting the button in the middle, and of course it goes right down the middle when I'm trying to do that. But anyway, we uh, got a turtle save and got 40 slices of pizza on that. That's pretty cool. Good integration of the button. Here we go. There we go. Get three multi-balls in one review. Let's do it. Look how fast this thing is. I will say there's not a whole lot of the ball popping up on this play field either. So it's, it's not going to get damaged as much as some of the other games like Ghostbusters with the fly balls, stuff of that nature. Uh, play field looks really crisp. Looks really clean. I have not found any issues on this machine at all on the play field. The art is actually pulled back away from the columns and the pegs, so that should uh, give it a little bit of last ability for, uh, for, the, for on location. Man, I love this game. It's awesome. I'm glad I bought this personally myself for home use. I'm, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly happy with my decision. Well done, Will. And as you can hear, you got Splinter in the background doing his uh, his training with you, and that's what it's about. Basically, you're the Ninja Turtles. Splinter's coaching you through what you got to do. I didn't want to shake that too much to save that ball, just obviously not to throw off the camera. God, this game is awesome. Man, what the score this thing, huh? 9.5. That's what we're going to score it from Arcade and Pinball Talking. 9.5, and I'm sticking with it. 
Sticking with it all day. That is how good this game is. And I, I, I bet no one will disagree with me. That's how fun this game is. 9.5. Man, this is like one of my highest reviews given. Tent Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Turtles in a half show. That's what I feel about this game. Check it out. Obviously, Stern Pinball, Ninja Turtles. This is a hit, Stern. Great job. Keep up the great work. Anyway, this is your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, Nathan, signing off. Till next time. See you then. Turtles, 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 turtles,